Hey guys, and welcome back for another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this really cute belt bag. I'm gonna say it's like a cool, cooler fanny pack. You hook it onto your belt so you can easily take it on and off. You can even hang it off of your belt loops if you don't want to wear a belt that day. Perfect size for your cell phones, maybe lipstick, Maybe some cash, credit cards. And yeah, so if you're interested in learning how to make this, then let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is go over to charmbyashley.com. Those links will be in the description box as well as the information icon. Grab the pattern and then get your material. Today I'm going to be working with some vinyl material. You could use some vegan leather, real leather, cork, or of course some other color vinyl. There are so many different colors and variations out there and you can really have fun with it. Okay, so I've cut out my pattern and now I'm going to take my piece and fold it with the right sides together, lining up the sides. I'm just going to clip those into place and then we are going to go over to the sewing machine and do a quarter of an inch seam allowance on both of these sides. It's important you do a quarter of an inch because the next step won't work out properly if you don't do a quarter of an inch. So after you're done that, then there will be two little openings. That's where those little notches are cut out and we are going to push those together line up the side of the bag with the middle of the other side of that little notch and you're going to clip that into place and we're going to sew that as well and you can do a couple passes just to make sure it's nice and secure that will just kind of create a little bit of depth to the bag so that if you want to put a cell phone or a thicker item such as a wallet then you will have that um, that width to it. So after that you're going to take your piece and turn it with the right sides out and we're going to start working on the sides. So the sides are actually going to be sort of pleated in an accordion style. So I did one side for you just so that I can show you exactly how it is going to look and then I will show you how to do the other side. We're basically just going to do some little seams that will keep the leather pinched if that makes sense so I'm just going to take the back of the bag and then fold it so that it's lined up with the flap just put some clips to hold that into place and then take the front and I'm going to fold it to make sure that that is lined up also if you notice that the bag will actually be a little bit wider at the bottom and then it's tapered up to where the flap is. So after that I take it to the sewing machine. I'm going to do some little a little seam about two inches long. You don't need a big long seam and for this video I am using white thread but it would be a good idea if you unless you wanted to do contrasting stitches um, to do a a matching thread so I'm just going to do that for both of the pieces and then it's basically just pleated on both sides and that gives it that width that you want so that you can put things in it and keeps it cinched up nicely so after that I'm going to choose my closures I am actually going to be using plastic snaps because I don't have any cool stuff. I'm making something cool but I don't have the cool hardware. So I would totally recommend using maybe some metal hardware. Um, but for this I'm just using literally like baby snaps. So if you have baby snaps there's nothing wrong with it. And I'm using black so that's still cool. Um, I do have a video on how to use these snaps if you want to use them. I'll leave that link down below as well as the information icon. But I think it would look so much nicer with the metal snaps, really. Anyways, okay, so yeah, I'm just going to install these and I'm, make, I'm putting it in the center of the flap and then I you know, folded the flap down to make sure I knew where it was going to fall on the bag itself and installed. I put the 
female end on the bag and the male end on the flap. So now I'm going to work on the straps that will be used to secure it to the belt. So I'm going to take these two little straps and I'm not going to sew them to the bag. I'm actually just going to use my um, snaps to secure it to the bag. So I'll poke through the strap and then poke right through the bag and then install my female end on the bag and then I'll put the male end at the end of the strap. So once you put on that last strap, then you're done. I think this turned out so cute. I totally love it. I will definitely wear this, especially on those days where I don't really feel like bringing a purse, but I still want to have my cell phone on me. You know, when those days, those days happen a lot, especially when you have kids and you need two hands so that you can grab them if they start to run away. Especially during these summer months when you, you go out a lot. So if you're not already, subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell and give me a thumbs up if you like this. If, if you want to see more, I'm thinking about doing one of those classic fanny packs as well. So if you're interested in that, then leave comments down below. Also, if you're not already, follow me on my Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. I post a lot on my Instagram and people love to share over at my Facebook. So those links will also be down below. So this is how it will work. I'm just going to slip it right over my belt and I made those loops nice and thick. So depending on if you have a thicker belt or a thinner belt, it doesn't really matter. And it hangs on a good place that it doesn't really affect your shirt too much. And yeah, so, so cute. Anyways, thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.